And this is a case of periimplantitis. This implant is failing. You see the x-ray right here and you'll see that there is no bone support. There's quite a bit of infection around this implant. So we've decided to explant it, to remove it. And the way we've chosen to remove it is to actually section it in half here. Uh, by sectioning it, we'll be able to remove it uh, buckly. Uh, we don't need to remove the prosthesis uh, that way because the, the, the patient told us that this prosthesis and these implants were placed some many years ago and trying to figure out what implant system was used, what driver to use. Uh, it's just a little bit easier just to section it in half here and then that way we eliminate the cause of the infection that's going on. You can see how mobile it is, and it comes straight out, doesn't take much, just a little cotton pliers and a little pressure. And there's some osseointegration. Again, this case has no cement since it's a screw retained case, so you can't blame it on cement sepsis because it was completely screw retained. It is out. Uh, this may be a Zimmer uh, implant. Not, I'm going to send this to the lab. It might be a screw vet. Uh, here's the NDAG laser we're using to disinfect the site. The NDAG is a, a very good laser for disinfection. Uh, and we're using a setting here about 250 microseconds at about 4.6 watts. We're just stirring up and cleaning out that infected area. Uh, we'll go back here and polish the end of that abutment or implant, whatever's left of there. And then we'll come back and uh, use our hemostasis setting. And then we're using about a 550 microseconds, maybe 4.4 watts in just a second. You see that laser going down and cleaning that. Uh, not all implants are needed to be explanted. We've seen some re remarkable cases uh, resolve really well with the use of the NDAG laser uh, with the protocol LIPIP. You can find out more information at lasergumdentist.com. Thank you very much and good day.